America to the pyramids of Egypt, we see artifacts, testament to early man's obsession with off-world manipulators. Every ancient culture believed they were communicating with men from the sky. Ezekiel with spinning wheels of fire landing and creatures with blue space helmets approaching Ezekiel and giving him a drug to take and then he has wild hallucinations. One could say that Prometheus is simply art imitating life and putting a 21st century spin on the beliefs of the Dogon tribe in Africa and the Aztecs of Mesoamerica. Eric von Donegan, more than any other living person, has popularized the idea of chariots of the gods and that our planet has been visited and manipulated by off-world creatures for thousands of years. But the systems that he popularized were regurgitated whole cloth from ideas developed by the ruling class of this planet. And I want to be clear. Every major globalist we look at, going back more than 160 years, is completely and totally obsessed with the idea that off-world aliens are controlling this planet and giving them hidden knowledge. By the 1870s, T.H. Huxley Group and their X-Club was dominating the Royal Society in England. The dominant theory within the X-Club was that humans had been seated here, along with most other life forms, by advanced beings from space. From the inception of Darwin's theory on the origin of species, evolutionary scientists never believed for a minute that life simply started on its own. That evolution is not some random, slow system developing by chance, but is actually directed by off-world cedars, terra farmers, creators of worlds. Even the discoverer of DNA, Francis Crick, promotes the idea that life was seeded on this planet in what he calls directed panspermia. It is part of the larger myth of transhumanism. Huxley, Darwin, Wedgwood, the Galtons, they all interbred in an attempt to create this transcendent Superman, the governing class of this globe believes that they are channeling advanced technological systems given to them by ancient alien species. And the science fiction of the last 150 years, whether it's Jules Verne or H.G. Wells or those that came before them, is obsessed with this and they're on record part of secret societies who believe what they're promoting is actually reality but knowing that the public is not ready to accept it they cover it under the guise of fiction and the film prometheus is completely constructed around the secret religion of the illuminati who believe that they are transcendent and becoming the superman we can create cybernetic individuals we are the gods now. Blurring the lines between fiction and reality, we see a futuristic presentation of the technology conference TED. The keynote speaker is the founder of the Wayland Corporation, Mr. Wayland. There he describes Prometheus stealing fire from the gods. From the Titan Prometheus, our first true piece of technology, fire. The transference of fire, or the first technology to man, is only the beginning of his transgressions. Prometheus is a titan and the creator of mankind who attempts to elevate humans to the level of gods and is punished. The Illuminati believe they have stolen the fire of true genius from the gods. Biotech, nanotech, fusion. As man attempts to become godlike, we release potential forces that can and probably will destroy us. I want to say this in summation. We're not facing off-world genetic engineers that the elite believes created this planet, whether that's true or not. We're facing the global technocrats that are splicing every plant and animal and insect you can imagine together, that are creating chimeras with hundreds of species within them, giving rise to super viruses and bacterial mutations. We are already seeing within three generations in rodents total sterilization and massive deformities in these animals. 
And we have proven from the Rockefeller Foundation documents and other reports that this is part of a long-term program to wreck the general public's DNA. This is the global elite who have fantasized about off-world genetic engineers creating them actually in a 160-year-plus program developing the sciences and technologies to put this into place. Whatever you say about the Illuminati, they have got patience and they have had incredible vision. But I believe humanity needs to hear the truth and understand this is being carried out against us all. Because we have a choice to stand up now, but only a short window and say no. I know the plot of the film. I know how it ends, but I'm gonna leave that for you to discover. The point is, the film itself is only a revelation of the method, an externalization of the hierarchy. If you're worried about your health and you're tired of the nasty side effects of harsh drugs or antibiotics, then look no further. Supernatural Silver is the answer. Supernatural Silver is a powerful immune system enhancer that can be used every day to help keep you healthy and well with none of those nasty side effects. It's extremely safe for use internally as well as topically. And Supernatural Silver is hundreds of times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver. It is perfect for use in the sinuses, eyes, ears, and on any wound or skin issue. Supernatural Silver is also extremely effective when taken orally and can help fight off bacteria, viruses, and mold that may be overwhelming your immune system. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code SILVER for 2014 for 20% off of your entire order and give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance with Supernatural Silver. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the basketball. Security alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. Infowars building independent media operations. You let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. A popular conspiracy theory talk show called Infowars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulted. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at infowars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out. Intellectually, it's because you can feel it. How can you save a ton of money and prepare for emergencies? By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right, create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. Hey, this is Steve Sanchez. Worried about the Wall Street Casino? Yeah, me too. Wondering when the stock market is going to collapse? You probably want answers, but you know you can't trust the global elite. Well, my good friend Brett Kitchen, best-selling author, has created a DVD set called The Millionaire Black Box. And for a limited time, you get free access. Call 1-800-259-3131. Find out how the global elite invests without having to deal with the global elite themselves. 1-800-259-3131. 1-800-259-3131. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. Now, if you want to see that special report from Alex Jones, it is live on YouTube. We also have an article up on Infowars.com. It has a common thread, really, with what we were talking to Dr. Peter Bregan about earlier. You know, as I was watching that, and Alex is talking about how they're messing with DNA, how Dr. Bregan was talking about how they're messing with brains, things that they don't really understand, but they don't really care because they have no regard for the test subjects that they're doing this to, and they have no regard for humanity. So check out that special report, pass it along. We also have another 
article that's up on InfoWars. We have multiple teams of reporters at the border. Uh, this is an article that's coming and an interview that's coming from uh, John Bound, put up by John Bound and Kit Daniels. Illegals are bankrupting small towns and border states. Small towns and counties and states bordering Mexico are drowning in debt due to the swarm of illegals who are stealing and destroying property, requiring expensive medical care, needing proper burial, all of which the federal government has largely refused to pay for. This is an interview that John Bound has with a judge down there, Judge Raul Ramirez. And one of the things that's very interesting in this report, the judge tells uh, John Bound that they've had so many people coming across the border with rattlesnake, rattlesnake bites that they're having to pay for the very expensive anti-venom shots. And, of course, they can only get that out of a large city, out of Corpus Christi. It's bankrupting them to get this expensive antivenom. And, of course, it has to be transported on an emergency basis, either to transport the patients or transport the venom. So that's yet another stress on these cities. And, of course, they're getting absolutely no help from the federal government that is opening the borders. As Joe Biggs told us earlier, he and Rob Dew saw them leave a gate open. That's a metaphor for everything that the federal government is doing down there at the border. And yet, are they standing down at the airports? No, they're still x-raying people. They're still molesting children. They're still having us take off our shoes and our belts. And this is absolutely absurd. And this is the same organization, Homeland Security, that is running both of these operations. Now, if you want to stay up to date on the reports coming from our multiple teams at the border, check out Prison Planet TV. Uh, a subscription will help to fund our research, our operations down there at the border. You can share that subscription with other people. And, of course, you can get the latest news tonight. Darren McBreen is going to be your host there. That's at 7 Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. Also, you can help us by uh, buying our products. We have a fluoride shield and a special on that, 25% off, exclusive blend of key herbs and ingredients, specifically infused with a formula to help support the elimination of toxic forms of fluoride and other things like mercury, chlorine, and bromine. That's available at InfoWarsLife.com. And we have these great new belt buckles that Alex got. It's a limited run of 500 belt buckles, the Made in 1776 series, and you can see those on the desk. There's a picture of it if you're looking at it. These belt buckles have essentially the same design that you see on that T-shirt. It's a great design. They put that in the center of the buckle with Mulan Lave on both sides. So if you haven't seen that, go to InfoWars store and check that out. It's a limited edition. Only 500 of these are being done per color, and there's just a couple of colors that are up there. I think it's three uh, colors that we've got there. It's another way to support our operation. We'll be back on Sunday, and we'll have the uh, live show from 4 to 6. Again, check out this uh, report from John Bown about how these towns, these small towns, are being bankrupted. And, of course, the crime that is happening there. These are areas where, essentially, these are ranchers who've been living there, sparsely populated areas. So when they have a massive amount of people coming across the border, and as the Border Patrol agents have said, many of those coming across are part of drug cartels. They're using the children as shields so they can get their cartel gang members across. We don't know as far as we're looking to see if we can find people of other nationalities coming through that perhaps are from the Middle East. Uh, of course, Al-Qaeda is in your pants at the airport, according to Homeland Security. Join us again on Sunday. Again, that is 4 p.m. Central Time. You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. I've always believed in nutrition and herbs. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals sourced from powerful organic herbs harvested around the planet and then concentrated for maximum potency. I just received my Male Vitality about three days ago, and I must say that is good stuff. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality 
formula. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. I jump out of bed ready to fight these criminals every day. I look forward to waking up and taking my Super Male Vitality and getting the day started. It's not just the Super Male Vitality. All the products at InfoWarsLife.com are simply amazing. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality and other powerful products from InfoWars Life. Coast to Coast. Direct from Austin, you're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network.